Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you a beginner's guide to how to build crowns without buying them with real money. So the first thing that you're going to want to focus on is building your antenna. To build the antenna, you're going to need to focus on getting wire, electronics, and metal parts in every encounter that you go out in. So the number of crowns that your goal should be is 330. It will take one to two months to get those crowns because Vigor is a time consuming game. It's not like an overnight thing. You know, you're not gonna get 330 crowns unless you buy them overnight. So you don't want to ever spend your crowns because it's just stupid to spend your crowns on more loot, better crate, or insurance and encounters. Insurance is kind of an exception, but never do it as a beginner. Never do it as a beginner. You want to save your crowns to 330. And why do you want to save your crowns to 330? So you can buy legacy seasons and invest in them to get more crowns. So the best legacy seasons to get are the ones that have 75 crowns in the least amount of levels meaning you don't want to get a season that has crowns in like level 20 and above the higher level the more time it will take to get to those levels which means the more time it will take for you to get the crowns so you want to invest in the ones where you get your crowns the fastest so by the time you even get to level 27 in this legacy season you'll already have 300 crowns you'll already have more than 50 percent of 330 crowns so the importance of legacy seasons are key to building crowns now i don't know if it's like this for everyone this might just be for mine you'll have to check it for yourself but the best of legacy seasons are from one to four because all of them have the reward of 75 crowns all the other legacy seasons from level five down either don't have any crowns or have either 25 or 50 crowns in just like random spots that is just like here you see this 25 25 and then for this one literally halfway into the season there's just 50 right there and then there's like none until 48 like yeah like that's just that's just dumb to invest in that one so the best ones are one to four because you're getting your 75. as a beginner y'all you don't want to be rocking the raincoat i get that you want some other cosmetics but there's no point to buy cosmetics if you're just gonna get a legacy season and get all these cosmetics there's literally no point unless you want to get a certain cosmetic like a ski mask that's literally 500 crowns okay <laughs> like here where is it yeah 600 crowns for a brown ski mask i don't ever like recommending buying crowns because you could just generate them and get them in game you never have to buy them but if you want this brown ski mask then your best bet is buying crowns because who would want to waste their crowns on this when you literally spent like five months building up to 600 like it's like just a dumb decision so when you get your 330 crowns and you get 
the legacy season that you want between one and four. You still don't want to spend your crowns. The, the only reason why you would want to buy a legacy season is because you're purchasing crowns with crowns. So you're literally getting crowns in exchange. As you grow your crowns, right? Over time, your main goal, besides getting legacy seasons, is to get the main season, which is 790. And it may not make much sense of how you could go from zero to 790 from just buying legacy seasons but over time you'll eventually you know get to 790 by investing in legacy seasons and strategically building the antenna and working on the antenna it's it's like collecting scraps right it's like every crown counts right so that's why you don't want to ever spend your crowns when you're not getting crowns in exchange. Never spend your crowns if you're not getting crowns in exchange. Because when you end up getting the main season, you freaking get so much crowns. And you get so much merch and everything. Another thing that I want to say is, say like the season is about to end and you have like 600 crowns because you've been building them you've been grinding them and the season's about to end and you really want this next season right but you don't have enough crowns this is the only time that i would recommend buying crowns you buy the starter pack now the starter pack you can only buy it once so don't ever buy the starter pack when you just started in vigor buy it only when you need to you got to be strategic with it because once you buy it, it's a starter pack. You, can, you can't buy it again. So you're getting literally 650 crowns right off the bat for a starter pack. Now, if you were to do that, you would just, you know, get your season. For people that actually buy crowns, this is something that I'm just gonna add in there, is be strategic with your crowns. Still have the same mentality that you would if you weren't buying them. Meaning, if you buy crowns and you get like a thousand crowns, right? Make it so you don't allow your crowns to go under a certain number, right? So you're always on a leverage. Because if you're just buying crowns and and like getting the the more loot and getting the insur ins insurance and just flexing it all out, you're gonna drain your money like so fast. You're gonna tr drain your crown so fast. But if you don't allow it to go under a certain number, you're always gonna be above water with the crowns. Another way to get crowns is either by challenges or crates. With the challenges, it usually is in the top challenge. You'll get like 10, 15 to 30 crowns at most in challenges and sometimes you'll get it in the daily challenges but in the daily challenges you'll at most get maybe 10 maybe 20 but it's not that much for the seasonal challenges you'll have 10 crowns within them and usually the ones with crowns are pretty hard to get except for the airdrop ones where you just need to collect the airdrop or whatever the ones that have to do with boosting the lobby do not do that because it costs crowns to do that and to boost so much that you shine it literally costs like a hundred crowns to do that or even more than that probably so you're basically spending a hundred crowns just to get 10 that's so stupid so don't do that <laughs> but for crates your best bet is common and uncommon crates for rare military grade shootout and special issue it's rare to get crowns and at most in special issue you'll get 30 crowns at most military grade ranges around 20 rare maybe 10 but uncommon crate and common crate is where you'll get the most crowns because it sees your account as a beginner and it knows that you're going to be getting these two crates the most so it will reward you crowns 
often and you'll get in a common crate 10 crowns at most an uncommon crate you'll get 15 and it happens pretty frequently yeah so that's the other way to get crowns but the main thing is just work on the antenna until you get to 330 crowns then invest into legacy seasons and then over time work your way up to getting the current season so this is another thing is when it comes to your legacy seasons the only one of the only reasons why you should be investing in legacy seasons is for crowns so when you get a legacy season and the crowns end at a certain level there's no point to keep going in the legacy season just invest in another one because the amount of time that it even takes to get to the last level that the crown is at is so long that's why i was saying like only invest in legacy seasons that have like at least two or three crowns before level 30. another thing to point out is you don't want to be investing in too much legacy seasons because if you're just paying back to back 330 crowns then you're basically just running out of crowns so you want to strategically do it to where you see that you're growing and when you feel like oh i shouldn't i shouldn't purchase another legacy season i should just start generating now for a while then do that like that's the only way that you're gonna even get to the current season this isn't like just some overnight thing no this is something that you gotta really grind for and wait another strategic thing that you could do is say you have enough crowns for the current season or you just about have enough you don't really have enough yet you could not buy the season for like a few months but still grind all your levels up so say you get to like level 35 right and then you have like 900 crowns or whatever so you buy the current season when you purchase the season since you already are like up to level 35 you'll get all the other levels you'll get all of the clothing all of the crowns and everything so the best the best way to really do it would just to get 330 crowns buy a legacy season that has at least 375 crowns before level 36 and then when you're building that up you're also building your antenna up something that i would highly recommend doing is logging in every day and collecting your crowns because the more you do that the more crowns you'll have and the faster you'll be able to get the current season so applying everything that i said in this video you'll end up getting to 790 crowns if you're always in the mentality of not spending your crowns you'll never have zero crowns because when you buy the current season when you end up getting 790 and then you buy the current season and you're playing to where you're getting your exchange meaning you're playing to get your crowns if you're always in the mentality of never spending your crowns you'll never have to do this again and then you have the other aspect of people that aren't in the mentality of ne never spending their crowns. Then you have those people that have all their legacy seasons purchased, right? And <laughs> I'm not, you know, throwing any shade at those people. I'm just saying you have all your legacy seasons purchased, right? But you have zero crowns. So <laughs> it's like, it's kind of like an experience thing of like, you kind of wish you did it smarter. 
you know? So the main thing in this video is never spend your crowns unless you're getting crowns in return. Just be strategic with your crowns. There's many overall goals, quote unquote, that I mentioned in this video, but what is the ultimate goal that is the whole reason for this video is to make it so you never have to pay real money to get the current season ever because you're always getting rewarded the crowns that you need for the next season. So you never have to pay for it. You always have enough crowns to get it. That's the ultimate goal on how you even should strategize on how you play vigor. And that's the video. I love all of you guys. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. I really appreciate your support on all the videos that I've ever made. Also, check out my mental and spiritual health channel. Like, I have so many different channels, so many different things that I do. If you guys want to check out any of these things, just check it out in the description. Um, I also have a Vigor and Daisy based clan channel. Everybody Killers is in the description below. Thank you guys for your support. I love you all. Peace.